Inflammatory breast cancer is a rare and aggressive type of breast cancer where symptoms in the breast can resemble those of inflammation such as pain, swelling, skin thickening and redness. In inflammatory breast cancer, tumor cells block lymphatic channels within the skin and that is what causes this puckering, thickening, uh, redness and changes in the skin. Now we don't exactly know why some women have a tendency to develop an inflammatory type of breast cancer but we certainly see it more commonly in young women and in women who are overweight. Now inflammatory breast cancer is often confused with mastitis because uh, women may or may not even feel a breast lump. What they often notice are the skin changes which could be redness of the skin, thickening of the skin, there is a little bit of a pitted appearance of the skin which can make it look like an orange peel and um, so inflammatory breast cancer is often confused with infections, mastitis, abscesses. Now to diagnose inflammatory breast cancer requires a high level of clinical suspicion if a patient appears to have signs that look like mastitis but is not improving with antibiotics, then before one does a trial and error of more antibiotics or other treatments, a prompt skin biopsy needs to be done. Now before we do a skin biopsy, we would get mammography, ultrasound or age appropriate imaging. Now if that shows a lump within the breast, deeper inside the breast tissue, we may do a biopsy of that area uh, under ultrasound guidance, what we know as an ultrasound guided core needle biopsy. However, often the mammogram or ultrasound may not show a lump at all and it may just show this diffuse swelling and skin thickening, in which case uh, one shouldn't lose the opportunity to do a skin biopsy that will then show hallmarks uh, changes of inflammatory breast cancer. As long as inflammatory breast cancer has not spread beyond the breast and lymph nodes, as long as it is not metastatic, yes, breast cancer which is inflammatory is still considered curable and is treated with curative intent. What we do know is that it is a little more aggressive type of breast cancer, so we do need more aggressive treatments to combat this disease. As breast cancer treatments are evolving, we are seeing better patient outcomes even in women who do have inflammatory breast cancer. The standard of care for treating inflammatory breast cancer is to administer chemotherapy before surgery. This is called neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Once we've had a chance of the tumor responding to chemotherapy, that is when we proceed with surgery. Surgery is more aggressive, so we do remove the entire breast with all the involved skin as well as lymph nodes in the armpit in inflammatory breast cancer. This is called a modified radical mastectomy. Once the surgery is done and wounds are healed from surgery, we do proceed with radiation to the chest wall and regional lymph nodes to achieve better outcomes. Uh, the additional therapies such as endocrine therapy or targeted therapy uh, would be determined by the molecular subtype of the breast cancer.